My name is Adira Ellison and I teach art at Indian Springs Elementary. All the artwork was inspired by my students learning in my class about the elements of art. I am extremely proud of our 10 amazing students who went above and beyond in making their artwork neat and creative. Way to go, Indian Springs artists! Hi, my name is Jasmine Valdez. I am the art teacher at Johnson Ranch Elementary. I am so proud of my little ropers for everything they have accomplished in my class so far. These nine students should be so proud of themselves. They are consistently coming to my class with positive attitudes and open minds. They constantly surprise me with their exploration of materials and their way of thinking. Congratulations, Ropers. You guys are most deserving of having your artwork displayed in this show. Hi, my name is Juanita Gatrell. I teach art at Kinder Ranch Elementary. I am really excited about the Support Services Art Show. I chose some for the line, element of art in lines. We did some color and some texture, and I had to add in the Picassos for shapes and color. They're just vibrant and beautiful. And I want to congratulate all the students uh, for your hard work and beautiful creations. Thank you so much. Hello there, I'm Karis Taylor. I'm the art teacher at Raw Boulevardi Elementary. We've been working on the elements of art throughout the year. I wanted to congratulate the students that were chosen for this art show. They should all be so proud of their work and I sincerely hope that they recognize their creative gifts. Hi, my name is Alana Polly, and I'm the art teacher at Timberwood Park Elementary School. And while some things have had to change in the art room this year, what hasn't changed is just how hard our students are working and how proud I am of them. And I'm very proud to show you these 10 pieces of artwork by these 10 amazing students. Thank you. Hello, I'm Carlos Perez and I am a art teacher at Spring Ranch Middle School along with Mrs. Joanne Dahl. The artworks that you see here were created by some of our wonderful and talented artists here at Spring Branch Middle School. It's amazing to see the joy and the drive that they get from creating art. Again, thank you to Mrs. Joanne Dahl for all that she does uh, to help continue to promote and guide the uh, inspiration to so many of students uh, day in and day out. Thank you very much. My name is Holly Kennedy, and I am the art teacher at Smithson Valley Middle School. Smithson Valley art students never cease to amaze me. Their hard work pays off in so many ways. As you can see from these beautifully drawn plant projects, our students spend the time that it takes to make a great project. Their effort and attention to detail shows. I'm extremely proud of these students for setting such a high standard for our art program at Smithson Valley Middle School. Hello, I am Ashley Martinez. I am the art teacher at Davenport High School. Um, the students at Davenport have been working really hard at our brand new, wonderful facilities. I um, picked three of our major projects, which were our fall drawing prompts. Uh, students had up to five different topics to choose from. Most of them chose a phobia to illustrate, which those are always come out very creatively. We also have our fall painting still life. We also have our first painting project, and we also have an expressive self-portrait done in oil pastels. My name is Natalie Jones, and I'm the art educator at Hill Country College Preparatory High School. Our artwork reflects our project-based learning campus. The artworks of the Alabrijes were collaborative art pieces with the Spanish classes. 
Some of the other art pieces are inspired by historical art pieces that the students appropriated to create personal connections through self-portraits. All of the students are freshmen and I am extremely proud of their diversity that shows through their interests and reflects upon their art masterpieces. Hello, my name is Lauren George, lead art teacher at Smithson Valley High School. We're featuring artists taught by myself, Paula Steele, Lizette Floyd, and Julie Ebarb. We want to congratulate each artist whose work was chosen for display. We've seen great dedication from these students and we're very proud of them. 